What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So, just a heads up, this will be a bit of a negative discussion video today. I'm going to be talking about Nightwave seasons and basically how I think they've gotten way too predictable and maybe gone downhill in quality since like a couple years ago. So let's get right into it. But before we do, make sure you're sub this channel, do daily Warframe video uploads, build videos, discussion videos, overview videos, all that kind of stuff in the right place for Warframe content. And yeah, I am fully aware. Trust me, I've been doing these Nightwave seasons since they came out. I know that they are not supposed to be as extensive now as they used to be. Like, we used to be getting, like, major stories out of this stuff. But even for the intermission format, I think they're going downhill in quality as well. I think something needs to change. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're talking about the Nightwave season. Uh, most aspects of it, not just specifically just the loot, but the loot is definitely an, uh, an aspect of it that I do want to focus on. But yeah, just looking at what we have right now for our current Nightwave loot, this, this is basically the status quo of every Nightwave season we've had like the last couple of years. So starting it off, you have like, you know, Nightwave creds, you got some cosmetics, some weapon slots, that's all well and good. You know, you got what well, you got lots of Nora creds on here, and if you don't, if you have one of these items already, you will get Nora creds instead of the item. You won't get two duplicate cosmetics, basically. So... Just scroll through. It's supposed to be a stalker-themed Nightwave. We got, like, a stalker-themed, like, hood ornament here. We got uh, a bunch of random wolf stuff. You know, let's, let's try to ignore it for now. Uh, we got a augment for the stalker's scythe, the hate, uh, which was pretty decent. Not amazing, but decent. And then this new one, Unseen Dread, is coming up in a couple of weeks that will make you invisible when you see the Dread. So, reminder, the stalker has three weapons, and we're only getting uh, augments for two. So that's going to be my first point right here. The Nightwave season has become so predictable, they won't even make an augment for three weapons instead of two. Because it's only two augments no matter what. They are so stuck in the status quo ways of these of these Nightwave seasons that it's it's exactly the same as every other season. I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to show you a Nightwave season's loot from over two years ago, okay? A lot of people ask me about the loot of this Nightwave. Where do you get it from? It was Nightwave season three is where you got these special protocol pistol skins. So here we are on Nightwave season, uh, volume season three. Look at how much the quality has gone down over time, guys. Uh, for this, we were getting unique new skins from this uh, Nightwave. Let me see if I can fast forward to that. So we were getting returning items, of course, but this was like, you know, a pretty good returning item. We were getting new unique skins in this at like level nine. At level nine, we were getting uh, new unique pistol skins. So we got the Protocol Veskek skin, and they were, I think there was like three other pistol skins in this Nightwave season. So... This is when they were actually, like, you know, putting in a lot of new stuff in here. Now it just feels like status quo. And look, we were also getting new augments back then, too. It was the exact same loot we're getting now, but better. So, Activist Adventure for the Zylocke was that season. I think it was also Combat Reload for the uh, Tigress as well. So, yeah, there was a lot of stuff to talk about in these previous Nightwave seasons. Um, no, I'm not saying they were astronomically better than they are currently. And these were still no story involved. But, yeah, we were. I think we got, like, three pistol skins at the end of this. Oh, it was, it was the... Uh, Gorgon Augment mod, actually, Metamorphic Magazine. So, as you can see, we were getting lots of new, unique skins back then. Like this pistol, like a bunch of pistol skins. And our, and our you know, government-approved two Augment mods per season. So, now we've gone to the current version, where they are so stuck in their ways with these Nightwave generations, that they are avoiding a, or not avoiding, they, they didn't even, probably didn't even like consider making a third augment for this season, even though the, the Stalker has three weapons. Like, honestly, if they can only make two, why did the Hate get an augment? The Hate is one of the best weapons in the game. The Despair is, you know, it's like that one meme with like, the, the, the mom playing with the kid in the pool, and then there's like a, a skeleton like deep underground that has not been talked about in forever. The Hate, the Hate and Cardon's being, you know, getting all that good stuff, Melee Affliction, that new, aug, that new Arcane... You know, new augment for the hate in Karnan. Meanwhile, the spare in Karnan, probably one of the least used in Karnans in the game, has not been touched at all. It could have definitely used an augment here. And now I feel like there will never be a despair augment because the Nightmare Season for the Stalker, we already have a loot for it. You know, you get Stalker JPEGs and two augments. And that's your government allotted augments. They don't make more than two of them. So I think this needs a change. I don't think it needs a drastic change, but I think going forward, the Night Days need to make more sense. There should not be a... a a blatantly missing augment for one of the three uh, stalker weapons. If DE needs to change the loot in the Nightwave to make it either better or worse, whatever is the current season, that should be the case. We should not have a season like the Protocol of Season 3 where I'm getting three completely unique pistol skins that never ever come back and I'm getting my two augments and I'm getting my Umber Forma and I'm getting all these like energized and stuff. They're becoming worse over time. 
I think that someone needs to change. I don't know exactly what DE will do. I don't think the DE should spend more time on this. Or maybe the amount of time that it takes one, to build one more augment. So going forward, I, I think there should be some changes. These are these nightmares are blending together, and I think even the DE they're blending together because it is so status quo right now. It's like, okay, give them an Oricon Catalyst at level five, give them Nora Creds at level one, give them weapon slots at level two. That stuff's all well and good, because new free players do want to get that stuff. But it's the it's the other things, it's the, the entire like basis of the nightmare itself is just feeling so samey at this point. And it's just missing blatantly. There's blatantly missing things because it's so samey at this point. That he's like, all right, just get it done. Get the night wave done. Get the night wave out the door. Push it out to the players, and then you know we're not going to worry about it too much. And again, most players don't care about this stuff. But I have actually been hearing a lot of feedback recently about this specific night wave. It's like, okay, well, you know, we get every night wave exactly the same. Would it, would it have killed them to make one more augment for this night wave season? I don't think it would have. So. Yeah, and going beyond that too, um, I think they could definitely change up like the higher level rewards too. Not, not even talk about just the augments here, like the actual higher tier rewards. Like we're talking like really high level stuff. Like this, this uh, cosmetics well, all well and good, but how about some other new stuff here? Like the umber is always going to be here, or forms always be here. How about some new things? The e you know, like we got a cosmetic here, cosmetic there. That's all well and good. Um, but yeah, this is just a, this is a returning. It's not a returning ship. It's a it's a cosmetic for a returning for a ship. So some of the stuff just really underwhelming. How about like throwing an like XP booster here or something about that? And, and how about this too? I know a lot of people hate this idea. How about an additional, uh, you know, premium track above this? That can make it a little bit more exciting. I know a lot of players don't like that, but all they would need to do is just not change this bottom tier reward at all and just add another tier reward above that that gives us more loot. So, only people that would be able to complain is people that are, you know, like able to complain about anything. If there's a free option still, there's still going to be the, and then there's a paid option above, it would be great. So, I think that's that would be an option. But either way, guys, I think DE needs to change this going forward. It is pretty getting pretty stale with these Nightmare Seasons having the exact same uh, you know, basis of loot. If we look at this stuff, it's like, level, so level, to a perspective, level 9 of that season I showed you earlier was a pistol skin at this level. And for this level, this season, it's a melee Riven mod. So, it's impossible to obtain item or a Riven mod. Which one would you prefer? I think I prefer the impossible to obtain item, uh, personally, because there's so many Rivens you can get in this game. So, yeah. The loot definitely has been going downhill, if you ask me. Like, right there, level 9, pistol skin. You know, there's, I don't even think there are any ribbons on this on this track. Why are they putting ribbons in here as filler items? They should remove ribbons from the Nightwave level ups, in my opinion. Those are definitely filler items there just to waste your time. And to wave, waste Nightwave valuable item tracks, for that matter. Um, yeah, so that, that's, those are some of my ideas. Let me know what you guys feel about down below. I know a lot of people hate the idea of a paid Nightmare track. I'm not saying that would solve anything. I'm just saying it would make it a little more exciting, hopefully. It's like, okay, well, we got two tracks of rewards now, not just the one track of rewards that everyone in the game gets. So see you guys in the next video. We'll have dev stream bingo either tomorrow or Friday midday. And then make sure you check out the live stream channel for the coverage of the new Warframe dev stream on Friday night. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace.